trigger points in the soleus muscle down at the lower one third of the calf can cause referred pain into the back near the sacrum, also pain into the calf, and pain, a rare pain referral up all the way into the chin. Massage therapists are particularly vulnerable to trigger points in the muscles of the calf, specifically the soleus muscle, because we stand over treatment tables all day. Sometimes we lean forward when we really need to do those long gliding strokes, when we need to tippy toe ourselves to get a better angle at treating a particular area on a particular client. So to apply trigger point pressure release to that trigger point number three in the lower one third of the soleus muscle, you could certainly use the curveball tool brought to us by our friends at um, tigertailusa.com or our um, tiger ball. So I'm going to bend the knee, bring the strap around the foot and dorsiflex that ankle. And since the soleus does not cross the knee, uh, we certainly could bend the knee and we're going to be applying pressure and rotating. If that's not enough compression, you can use the tiger ball, hold the ball there. I could hold the two ends of the strap and roll the ball upward as I go, or just keep the pressure there static on the soleus muscle. Again, you could do a double whammy by dorsiflexing the foot. Another way to treat the soleus muscle to prevent trigger point development would certainly be to use a tiger tail. Again, we can bring the leg um, the knee on the flexed, bring the knee into flexion and apply a nice gentle foam rolling right over the gastroc soleus or hold static trigger point compression right onto that lower one third. You wanna look for and treat the most exquisite and painful location and hold there about two to three breaths. Breathe, imagine being relaxed, then maybe move another quarter inch Press again, hold that for two to three breaths, 10 to 12 seconds, and relax. For perpetuating factors or prevention of problems in the soleus muscle, make sure that you wear good foot, uh, make good footwear choices, wear a good stable gym shoe, try to avoid flip flops or sandals, and make sure you rotate your shoes often during the week while you're doing your massage therapy practice. Another helpful hint brought to you by Advanced Trigger Point Seminars, Check us out at www.chicagotriggerpointcenter.com.